In this video, we're going to solve a simultaneous product, or two equations with a product working together simultaneously. We have x, y equals 48, and x plus 3 times y minus 2 equals 54. In order to solve these simultaneous products, our first step is going to be to divide both equations by the same factor. For example, if I want to divide the first equation by the factor with x, I end up with x equals 48... I'm sorry, not x equals, y equals 48 over x. Because I divided with the factor with x in the first equation, we're going to divide by that same factor. Turns out the factor with x is x plus 3 this time, on both sides of the equation. That gives us y minus 2 equals 54 over x plus 3. When we do that, we'll get in a situation that we can make an easy substitution. y is equal to 48 over x, and that can replace the y in the other equation. We get 48 over x minus 2 equals 54 over x plus 3. When we do this, we've created a rational equation we can solve by multiplying by the least common denominator of x times x plus 3. Multiplying by x times x plus 3 by every term on both sides, including the one that's not a fraction. We multiply by every term, not just the fractions. The x's will divide out, and we get 48 times x plus 3 minus 2x times x plus 3 equals, the x plus 3 is dividing out, 54x. We now have an equation we can solve. We'll start by distributing 48x plus 3 times 48 is 144, minus 2x squared minus 6x equals 54x. Combining like terms, we'll also put things in order. Negative 2x squared plus 48 minus 6 is 42x plus 144 equals 54x. I'm going to scroll to buy us some more room. We want the equation to equal 0. We also like x squared to be positive. It's not right now, so let's add 2x squared. We'll subtract 42x, and we'll subtract 144 from both sides. Plus 2x squared minus 42x minus 144. And when we do, we get 0 equals 2x squared. 54 minus 42 is positive 12x minus 144. Let's see if we can solve this by factoring. Factoring out a 2 gives us x squared plus 6x minus 72. And 72, that's, um, 6 times 12? Yeah. So we have 2 times x plus 12 times x minus 6. And then we can set each factor equal to 0. x plus 12 equals 0, and x minus 6 minus 6 equals 0. And solve quickly by subtracting 12 and adding 6 to find x is equal to negative 12 and 6. We still need to figure out what y is. Let's go back up to the beginning. I'm going to grab this, move it up here. So we have it for reference as I scroll up. Get all that work out of the way. We said y is equal to 48 over x. So we can still find y by taking 48 over negative 12, which gives us y equals negative 4. So when x is negative 12, y is negative 4. Or we can take 48 over 6, which gives us 8. So when x is 6, y is 8.